Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I posted a picture on my one of my Facebook sites about the uh, keto coconut ice cream, so dairy-free ketogenic ice cream. Um, I did mention that I used the Cuisinart soft serve ice cream maker. I haven't taken that out of the pantry in a year and a half and there's, you know, I think um, part of the reason is the last time I used it, uh, Zach wasn't having seizures and you know now here we are he's an epilepsy patient so a lot has changed um, I used to use it all the time to make dairy free ice cream for him when I wasn't concerned about how many carbs so why we would make dull whips and do a lot of a lot of fun things with it we went keto and I kind of just pushed it back in the pantry and um, haven't used it since took it out today you guys some of you saw the final product Oh my gosh, it was so easy, so, so easy, and he absolutely loved the product. So I wanna show you what I used. Um, coconut milk, we all have that, right? So coconut milk. These, I ended up using two cups of it. I'll put the recipe in the description for the video. These had been in the fridge, um, so you know the fat went to the top. I tried to use most of the fat, but also some liquid too. Um, so I did two cups of coconut milk. I did about a tablespoon of vanilla. Sounds like really in my face here. A tablespoon of vanilla and the erythritol. So I think the recipe I was looking at, it mentioned maybe a third of a cup. That's a lot for Zach. So I decided to start off with two tablespoons of the erythritol. It was sweet enough for him. You guys are gonna have to um, do your macros, do your counts. You know, Zach's pretty much a four to one kid. Uh, but we also, we don't see seizure freedom with the ketogenic diet. Uh, it just helps, it reduces the length of his seizures. Um, so it's hard for me to judge whether the erythritol would actually affect him or not. Um, but all I know is, it, based on what I see through his urine strips, he's in ketosis, so we know that. He's in brain ketosis. Uh, also, uh, I did add, this This does have sucralose in it, but Zach tolerates it. He can stay in ketosis. It's the Tarani Classic Caramel Sugar-Free Sauce, or syrup, not sauce. I did a teaspoon of this and then a little bit of salt. I just mix that all in a bowl and then I put it into the ice cream bowl, which had been frozen overnight. So it had been about 24 hours. It had been in the freezer. Turned on the ice cream maker and I think we let it go for 12 minutes, keep an eye on it. And then you saw the finished product. It was, it was perfect, it was great. He didn't need anything on it. Oh, you know what else I did? I did a quarter teaspoon of coconut extract, which I think you could increase if you wanted to. It was a really, really great base recipe to follow. And like I said, the erythritol, I mean, you know what um, your kids can tolerate if they could do the full one third cup. Oh, definitely recommend that zach loved it okay but then again he hasn't you know he hasn't had anything sweet in about a year uh, my other kids tried it and they're like oh it's okay so that tells me that yep a little bit more of the erythritol would have would have helped okay so here again uh this is just the ingredients so the coconut milk you definitely needed two cans i didn't use the full two cans the erythritol the classic caramel sauce um, you can see the coconut extract there and then the vanilla. I'll take you over here, definitely not clean at all. <laughs> this is like real life here, um, but <laughs> here's the Cuisinart soft serve ice cream maker. I'm sure you could use this recipe in any type of ice cream maker that you have. Um, it just came out really well and was really quick for us to use this. Um, like I said, about 10, 10 to 12 minutes in here and um, it came out came out like you saw kind of like a frozen yogurt well soft serve ice cream um, so he was really excited about that